Greetings. In this video, I will tell you about the three levels of strategic goals. Is it time to update strategic goals? Usually, the situation is such that the strategy is sound and remains, but the goals need to be updated. The company reached its strategic goals and new ones are needed. I'll start with yearly goals. It's common to set yearly strategic goals for oneself. Operative action plans and budgets are created based on these goals. A new opportunity is to discuss once every quarter the following three-month goals. This is how yearly goals are broken down into more concrete parts. It ensures that advancement is efficient. On top of these goals, it is good to also think about long-term themes. Horizons is a good concept. What the company intends to achieve in the following years. Next, I will open up all three levels. In many companies, strategic planning is done according to a yearly schedule. Typically, spring is the time to think about strategy, while August, September is for the creation of the implementation plan, and September, October is for budgeting. During spring, we need to focus on long-term thinking without daily urgency distracting. But is a yearly goal enough when the market situation changes quickly? Annual goals are easily forgotten. The company should not allow the strategy to be buried under the operative work with customers. We are excited about breaking yearly goals down into quarterly goals. When a yearly goal turns into suitable concrete tasks, this allows effective strategy implementation. Things work like this. Each quarter, the company holds a strategy day. During this day, a discussion is held about how the previous quarter went and what goals are put in place for the next quarter. The management team members have prepared their proposal for the next quarter together with their people. Unit leaders explain their situation and suggest the next goals. The suggestions receive comments and are accepted. Finally, the current situation is evaluated as a whole. Is the strategy with its focus area still good or is an agile adjustment needed? Decisions are made. If the organization looks at the strategy regularly, it achieves the ability and a better focus to adapt to the changes in the market. The whole strategy becomes concrete thanks to a joint strategy board that shows both yearly and quarterly goals. Traffic lights show how the work is progressing. Set up robust quarterly strategy management practices for your company and you will reap the benefits. But making yearly and quarterly goals concrete is not enough by themselves. The company also requires the management to look at reality from a helicopter view, what big things are desired over the following years. For this purpose, business horizons are a simple yet powerful tool. Make such a picture in which the company's entire strategy journey is visible as one year horizons. Figure out what big things the company did over the past few years and what the next big targets for this year are. Outline what the next years can bring in the form of goals and targets. One good thing could be to give each year a specific theme. Define a headline for what the most central theme for the year's work is. It's possible to view an unbroken chain that continues from the past to the present into the future. Understanding what this is in the organization is important for the board, the management, and the personnel. The journey is meaningful. We have followed this system with a CEO already for eight years. Clarity was increased when we created a two-year horizon and gave them headlines. In retrospect, it was quite straightforward. A helicopter perspective was achieved, which was both insightful and exciting for the management team as well. When this type of image is communicated to both the staff and the board, a clear mental picture about the company's journey towards the next developmental stage is created. It's like if the sun would be shining ever stronger tomorrow. Try it. The business horizon is an easy way to visualize the strategy journey. So the point is that you need goals on three levels. These are strategic goals. Under them, you put operative goals that are accomplished weekly. It's, of course, important that the different level goals implement the same strategy. There needs to be a logical chain that links them all together. When you work like this and implement the strategic goals, you ignite strategy. But if you only proceed according to flow, 
which happens quite easily, you probably won't maximize the company's success. It would help if you also had upper level thinking, a refreshing helicopter journey. Please get in touch if you feel like you want to talk about this. Take care.